And the book is notable, too, in that uh, two of the major characters that figure in the book really only appear in one chapter each, and they are two of the best depictions of psychopaths, too, uh, other than the Gina Vincetti character. One is a character called the Norwegian, which is this sort of crusading hitman uh, who appears, I think it's in chapter 21, uh, and is talked about in the rest of the book, and it sets up the a lot of the events that appear in the Norwegian and the family. And that's a character that, as a kid growing up in the real neighborhood, a lot of these mafia guys, these hitmen types, became almost like Mickey Mantle or uh, Willis Reed, a famous New York Knicks basketball star. These sports stars, they were talked about, these names are bandied about, the something or other, the this, that. And the book also makes use of the moniker, the something in the book. It's, it's a recurring motif in the book. The other character is uh, this mafia boss of the Maravelli crime family named uh, Big Frank Conchetto. And it, what's interesting is I went through oh, half a dozen or more drafts of the book, I think maybe seven or eight, nine drafts of the book before I finished. Uh, but Big Frank didn't really appear in the book until the fourth or fifth draft. I was just going to have this mob boss being in the back as the guy who replaced the the mob boss, Ma Paulie Maravelli, who appears in some other stories. But as you write, one of the interesting things, at least with me and I think with all great writers, is you learn to incorporate things as they come along. You can't just stick with your original uh, draft, your original idea about something, if something along, comes along that's better. And so I expanded this character, Big Frank, which then led to expanding some other smaller characters and ideas here and there, which then later got developed in a Norwegian and the family.